think I need bombs to blow this up. Which I don't think I have at the moment. I haven't made any. So I might have to... This might have to stay here for a while until I go back to town eventually and make some bombs. Can I make bombs here? Actually, not the performed here. It's, it's the standard... Let's see if I can't craft something here. Alchemy. No, I can make potions. So I can brew my own potions. Which different potions have different effects? Which I will probably use eventually. Oh! Is this count as a bomb? I hope so. So this is a Sanum, Samum bomb. It is essentially a flashbang. It does a little bit of damage, but its entire point is to stun people. So I have that schematic, so I'm going to make a few of these. Uh, let's create, say, I'll create four of them for now. And then I have to go into my character. No, not my character. I wonder when these get opened. Oh well. to get to my inventory. So I can equip them onto my quick slot bar. So I need, not traps, so I've collected seven snares so far. Oh, that's right, they do weigh a bunch. Ah, I need bombs. Oh, I did have a bunch of bombs. I just need to put them onto my pockets. So I should be able to swap out. <laughs> Bombs. I just don't remember how. Unusable item. I need to remember. And of course, this game doesn't always have the best in examples of the usage. Yes. Ah, it's a regeneration buff. I just so buy these totems. So these are some of the things that protect this area from the worst of the wilderness. The dead dude. I just took the dead dude's pants. It's kind of creepy, but all right. Oh, there's a nice sneaky waterfall. There's a opening behind the waterfall. Let's see what's in a cave. One of the most brilliant things about exploration games is just kind of finding things and searching through them. But I wonder how large this cave is. Hmm. Ah, it's full of neckers. I wonder if this is part of my necker quest. I don't know. I have to check the quest. Glad I got the regeneration buff though. Neckers can be quite a problem. There's a lot of them. They are they're a lot like goblins in other games, in other lore, where they're weak creatures, but they're also cowardly, but they do kind of swarm a lot. They do enough damage to do the pain especially the warriors. Oh! Just like that, I got surrounded. It's more spawned behind me that I didn't notice. And I need to remember to get into the habit of saving my game before entering exceedingly dangerous places. That tells oh, how much progress that I lose. Well, I'm here, so... Troll trouble. Oh yes, 
Witcher abides by the Witcher's Code, which means you do not kill sentient creatures unless they are committing acts of evil. So if it's not doing any evil, you don't kill it for the sake of killing it. So, oh, that's how far back I am. Brilliant. Yes, that will be a brilliant lesson for me. I must redo some work. I am now back far enough to where I just got the quest to, s to essentially validate the woman's and brilliant. Apparently the Witcher crashed. So I will be trying to start that right back up. That's always fun when the game decides to crash. So a moment please while I start the game back up. Uncontrollable events as games crashing are. I guess the game didn't exactly enjoy the fact that I had to do so much work over again. Come on, you can do it. Alright, let's try loading up. Come on. Why are you not working? What's up? Something is messed up. Yes. Apparently I started two versions of The Witcher somehow. Alright. Now that I got that oddity out of the way. Just need to get back to the Witcher. Right. Now it's not working at all. Uh, yeah. Pardon me while I try and fix Thing. I can't see my mouse. Why can I not see my mouse? I'm experiencing some severe technical difficulties. I do apologize for that. I can see my mouse now. Alright, apparently starting up two versions of the same game it doesn't exactly enjoy. Let's try relaunching. The game, a third time. Alright, I seem to be able to launch the game this time. Let's load up. I guess the usefulness of it is I just died, so I didn't lose any unsafe information. Yep, right back to where I was left off after dying. So, let us go repeat some steps that I had already done to go back out into the wilderness. I'll have to recreate my silver blade before I'm able to get away anywhere else. And it will definitely remind me to save my game. Before entering anything dangerous whatsoever. So how's it going, dear? It's a good lesson right to learn, house, no. but one that is annoying <laughs> yes, to learn nonetheless. Let's talk to you. I can hey boss! You don't have That's to spend some of the time and how it Nice workshop. Ah, so know that I need silver first in order to buy or to 
create my blade. I need two pieces of silver. That means I can now so create the Wish's Blade again. So, much simpler to get you back than it was. That and might as well equip the Temerian sword again. I believe I can do. Yes, I can just hit F5 like most games to do a quick save. Definitely useful information. Uh, I do know I have bombs. I don't have to create them, I just need to equip them. So, yes, we will continue onward. Out and back into the wild we go. Again, I apologize for the oddity of the game crashing. But it is resolved now. We go back out into these brilliant woods. I think I still have to save that man again from those neckers in order to trigger the rest of the quest, which again, isn't so much of a problem. I'm glad I didn't lose so much information before realizing that. It's to save you once more! Thank you, Master. Drives me mad! This cursed wood is f Who might that be? The tr the What's trolls the drunk. Merchants from the port. A crop. Laredo's put. If Lare we need a bridge. And but I a have work to go if talk you're to the village elder. Thank you. I can collect some more of the necker stuff to make more goodies. Where the rest of them? Ah, oh, they're over there. Ah, gubbins of neckers. Why not just shove them in my pouch? It's so pleasant. All right. The village elder. We can get back onto the getting paid for being nice to the troll, and then we can head on out again. You should be. Ah, oh, yes, you're over here again. Let's see. You should be sitting in front of this house over here, along with some chickens. Hopefully, I won't accidentally kill you this time, chickens. I got uh, very sorry about doing that last time. Enough work for th yep. ye best. Um, but the troll. Who hires him? No, you're gonna cost. pay me. The bridge is in. Aye, you and could help him. Instead of paying me hundred, you're gonna pay me two hundred. Pay you well. Two hundred. And I'm just skipping over the dialogue because we've already done it already. So, a little save to ensure that we don't accidentally do that again. And apparently, my necker quest or my contract is to go kill off all the neckers within that cave. It's part of it. So I will, once again, try and find that awesome waterfall, which should be somewhere over here. And it should be quite pleasant. I wonder if I have to find all the Andromeda. I'd rather not fight them at the moment, but yeah, I'm exactly back where I was. So, How many more can there let's go some Andromeda again. I'm hoping the encoding issue from last time is also dealt with. I think the quality I was of my test was quite as good as last time. But I some of the bitrate and some of an update to OBS itself. Because it wasn't it was apparently a memory leak in some place. all the Andraga, so I'm just going to skip out on this before they all show up. Oh, piss. Disarm the trap and pick it up. Hmm. And I still don't actually, actually know how to swap out my throne weapon at the moment. So that's kind of annoying. But... Not the end of the world. I think I will save that for next week. Learn how to attack. Wait, I think I'll save. take the trousers off this. Oh, whatever. 
Brilliant. You gonna come play with me? Oh, you're okay. <laughs> you're getting caught on traps. All right, I'll go to you. Behind me. save this time. At least some of it. Much of it did I quick save? I quick saved most of it. Yeah. Definitely significantly easier to die in this game than it was, or it is in The Witcher 3. I'm gonna have to play, constantly have to remind myself to Play a little bit more cautious in this one than I'm used to. Not the worst things to do, but still something I must remember to do. So I don't really feel like. Ah, uh, well, it's still experience. So come on down, play. Wonder how many more will turn up. Explained all the other sigils I have access to. We've talked about Igni, which is essentially just fire. Quern is a brilliant ability that I should probably be using that allows me to cast a shield on myself. That lets me absorb some damage. Not a very powerful shield, but a shield nonetheless. But then there is Axie, which allows me to. Bottle. Individuals. And get them to be on my side for a little while, depending on the enemy. But apparently, Draga don't have a mind capable of doing so. Ooh, I poison. So, I need to stop using that ability. some damage. That was just with poisons and things. Could have saved myself. Before, from that bleed effect, by using Korma. Relearning some of the game. That should be mostly in Draga. Dead. I just have to collect all their fun portions. Don't disarm. Or we are trap. Collect it. Uh, let's just collect all of the Draga Gubbins. That are about, along with any potential apparently traps and stuff about. Always useful to have more materials. For potions and bombs and such. Also potentially having mutant gems. More healing. So. There's a necker nest, which I don't feel like engaging in. I'm just gonna go essentially straight for the cave this time. Which I will definitely save. Uh, but there's also one more I haven't talked about, and it's the ability Yurden. Yurden is a trap spell allows you to create magical traps that can capture people. It is something I learned quite late that Shit, is very stink. Especially for the big bad creature that I have to eventually kill. Um, it creates like, magical traps that encapsulate people. It's not usually super useful for some 
stuff, but it does create a snare. That. Yeah, just that one. Allowing me to deal with other Neckers before dealing with that one. So, it allows me to essentially divide and conquer. Ah, some more did spawn behind me. Buggers. So, get unsurrounded. other games, leveling completely heals you. So that reduces some of the downtime. Let's just pick up all of the stuff. There's also a weight system, which I alluded to before, which can get sometimes annoying. So I don't want to pick up all of those bear traps, because they weigh quite a decent amount, and they don't sell for so much. They're only useful to a point. I can essentially make a magical trap, so they're only so useful. Oh, well, there's a... that looks like a dead Scoia'tael. He's got some money and some daggers on him. But I'm just gonna hang to essentially travel my way down. Find... I'm assuming the bottom of this cave, which probably has an... Oh, it's probably got a nest in it, which means I don't know how to blow it up. Because I haven't been able to switch out my secondary weapon. Yet. I honestly don't even know. Remember how to use said weapon. But, again, yeah, I will figure that out. Hopefully, it won't be too late. Apparently, I need to climb up here. Climb. There we go. Of not having a jump mechanic like it, that ones that exist in the next game. To be more. Definitely more freedom in the next one. But this one is still quite good. Got some more neckers to deal with. So I'm gonna shield up. Ooh, oh, this is a rot fiend. Rot fiends are one of the really cool speeders. They are born in areas of high levels of combat, and they're attracted to corpses, as it is their main form of sustenance. They also have the nasty habit of exploding when they're about to die. It's always pleasant to deal with. Ah, that will be useful later. So it's a good thing I came down here. I will need that for something that your memory serves. Oh, brilliant. So, is that the end of... Is that the end of this mine shaft? I believe it might actually be. So, I believe I completed that portion of my contract to clear out this cave of Neckers along with getting a resource I will need eventually for a different quest. This is a dead end. But, so, uh, essentially killing two birds with one stone. That's the brilliant idiom is. So I think I can leave this area, as it should be pacified, and continue about my way. Yes, uh, rot fiends are truly nasty versions of, um, 
They're called necrophages, which a necker is a necrophage. It's a familiar term for all of the types of creatures that have a tendency to congregate around and consume corpses. Usually battlefields are very... They're usually clogged with the buggers. And so it's an even more important reason to bury your dead, or in many places of this world, to burn them. But yes, I was looking for a way to get across the river. Oh, apparently a necker found me. But, also, again, I alluded to it last week, but they are a species that appeared in this world as part of the conjoining of spheres. Uh, the conjoining of spheres is a magical catastrophe caused by ancient sorcerers that essentially blurred the lines between many worlds, allowing different creatures to come over to different worlds. Oh, I don't need to go here yet. But the, the conjoining... Essentially anything that isn't uh, it comes down to it. essentially anything that is wounded by silver blades is not of this world. They came to this world as part of the during the conjoining of spheres. Ah, oh, bloody traps! But it is still they're still viable to breed here because they're still normal species. They just happen to exist and be created by. They were shot. I'm going into Scoyatel area. That should be fun. But they... Oh, and now I'm carrying too much stuff. So, let's drop off some of these snares. Because I don't need you. Let's just drop off, say, four of them. I should be still over in Yes. Uh, where is my carrying limit? There it is. I'm still two pounds overweight. So, how much do you weigh? A pound. So I'll drop the other snare. I still have a pound to get rid of. Ah, more leather boots. I already have them. They're not worth much, and they weigh a lot. So, apparently. This is going to be cutting short of our foray, foray into the wilderness. Ah, I found the way down. Brilliant. Um, I'm actually going to take just a tiny bit of detour. Shouldn't be collecting anything go that way or loot, but I should be able to go this way to talk to the troll we've been seeking. Ah, there he is. Trolls are uniquely ugly in this world as well. It is quite interesting how no. wonderful they are. No what? No passage. Give vodka you passage. Oh yes. I don't have vodka. Do I have to give vodka? Do I look like an innkeeper to you? No vodka. No passage. Nope. Apparently he didn't like that. Oh, apparently I need to get vodka in order to place him so I could kill him. But I don't think he will follow me. Ah, so, it is quite advantageous to go back to town. I need vodka. Should be... Ah, I jump up here. Can I jump down from here? Yes. So where is this in the relation so I don't have to go nearly as far? To the rest of the road. Ah, it is quite literally right over here. Brilliant. We will get back onto the main road here, back to town to sell off stuff and pick up some vodka from the bartender. And then I can <laughs> troll one hug. He gave a very forceful hug. Hopefully vodka will make him drunk enough to not give me such a quite a massive hug, and he will tell me what's bothering him. I just need to go get some. So yeah, trolls are uniquely low-level intelligence. So they're not, again, they're seen as non-humans, and non-humans are very much discriminated against 